We're all getting ready for another blast of winter weather. Now imagine facing these brutal conditions without a home. It's exactly what is happening to people like Jose Vasquez, who were evicted from their south side homes. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Vince Petrano. And I'm Samara Sotis. You're watching live at noon. Well, today's deadline to enforce those evictions follow a tumultuous few weeks for people in one south side mobile home park. As Jonah Kaplan reports, the harsh winter made the situation even worse. This is what the inside of an eviction looks like. Silverware and plates left in the sink, cabinets open, refrigerator broken. Jose Vasquez let us in here to show us what he's leaving behind because as of today, he's homeless. Yeah, I'm scared. Well, what am I going to do? I mean, the door is going to be locked. My van is acting up. Put it on drive, it shuts off, and, and I got my furniture out there, and wh where am I going to go? 69-year-old Jose Vasquez has no job and lives off Social Security. Just two space heaters kept the place warm. I called Salvation Army, all of them uh, uh, rescue uh, missions or facilities, and they're all full. There's a waiting list. One reason for Vasquez's bitter reality might fall on the shoulders of Mother Nature's bitter blast. Vasquez's pipes froze, then burst when the weather briefly warmed up. A bigger problem, Vasquez had nowhere to look for repairs. The landlord, hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, forfeited the property to the city of Milwaukee. I'm asking for, uh, for help here two weeks ago. Never came. It got worse, worse, and worse. In the short term, Jose Vasquez has gotten some help from a local church. He found out today that he'll have a place to stay and a storage unit to keep his furniture, but only for 30 days. He doesn't want to think long after that because right now he just wants to know about where he will be and stay warm in this winter. In Milwaukee, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. A spokesman for the city of Milwaukee promised us that counselors are available for Vasquez and others forced to leave their homes today. And because of today's deadline, their status changes to emergency, meaning they'll get priority attention at shelters.